So they've been forecasting future events for a long time. I pointed that out. If you look at Barat, if you watch the movie Barat, okay, Barat takes a dump on President Trump's Trump Tower, right? Right out front. <laughs> okay. Uh... And I can tell you exactly how I'm really tied to all this. Barat's wife was named Ixana. My wife's name was Ixana. Uh, the ice cream truck that they were in was... The number on the side of it was 613, right? So that's the Jew ball, and that's Uncle Vlad's ball. Six is the Jew ball, and 13 is Uncle Vlad's ball. <laughs> Technology is what I... When I say ball, I'm a stone... I've called it stone, but let's just say technology. It's a biological fucking weapon is what it is. Now, the six had been doing this for a long time, okay? It had been here for a long time. And you all you hear out of the media is Trump colluded with Russia. Well, even if he did, how can y'all blast him for it when you've been using this technology to your advantage for a long time? It's hypocrisy. You're being a bunch of hypocrites, okay? And literally, it's just freaking absolute hypocrisy to go after President Trump for colluding with Russia when you're colluding and doing the same thing for years. They just leveled the playing field if they even colluded. It may, hey, who knows? I, mean, I think what happened, like I've said before, is the technology was just in President Trump and when y'all illegally inserted your technology into President Trump you seen the Russian tech and was like collusion same thing that happened to me <laughs> somebody's trying to point this shit out okay I'm pretty sure it's Lockheed Martin seeing how they <laughs> fucking looking at this 26 years away the movie Barat has all kinds of innuendo. he's got a, a rooster in his suitcase Okay, I mean, these computers have been playing these damn games for a long time. One of them's way ahead of the curve. You remember when he was in the parking lot and he was going to buy the Hummer and he was like, I want to get me a chick magnet. You know, he was going to buy the Hummer, but he only had uh, $700 on him. So he ended up getting the the ice cream truck. Well, the Jew ball wasn't supposed to come here. <laughs> That's her. That's their lady, their technology that these people actually call a female, right? <laughs> And uh, so he left the ch the chick magnet. He left it in the uh, parking lot because he couldn't afford it. So he got an ice cream truck, and there was a bear, and there was uh, Barat, and there was his partner. Well, his par partner was Lockheed. The bear was Vladimir's technology. And I was Barat, okay? And we were in an ice cream truck, and we were going to run around and scream a bunch of fucking shit, like, you know, at the top of our lungs. We were going to, all that Q shit or anything that, any kind of uh, dirt that would have probably been on the left, okay? Well, she ended up making it in the ice cream truck anyways, <laughs> okay? And like I said, I mean, the... Barat's wife's name's Exana. I can't think of all the innuendos there were there, but if I went through that movie, there's a shitload of innuendos there that forecasted this entire fucking thing, all right? Uh, but anyways, the six technology ended up in the ice cream truck as well, and that's when everything's gone haywire here. And I really think she's hacked. I do. I think she's hacked, and that's why everything's extremely haywire. But all I want, all I'm getting at, media, is... If your little six ball has been, you know, doctoring up elections and, and stuff like that for, who knows, 20 years probably, at least 10, since Obama was elected, I'm almost certain of that. If she's been doing that, and now you're you're all just going after uh, President Trump because he colluded with... It's hypocrisy. It's, it, you're, it's a fuck. You're being a hypocrite. And then, you know, Barat has, he's always anti-Jew and all that stuff. And he's got the little song, Throw the Jew down the well. They're talking about the Jewish computer, okay? Barat, that's President Vlad had everything to do with writing that fucking movie. All right, I'm just telling the story here. I'm a translator. I'm an artificial intelligence translator, apparently. <laughs> and I catch this stuff because... I got all the technology in me, and they're like, oh, yeah, that one, that one. I, and it just, I catch it, okay? I know, I sound like a fucking nut, but <laughs> welcome to the 21st century. Uh, 
anyways, so yeah, the the whole Barat thing, and you know, look, you got I've I've mentioned this before. Soros buried uh, uh, pr President Putin's economy with a couple of fucking trades. All right, he he killed the ruble. He buried their economy, and it came back. But yeah, I, I'm just saying I'm not. I'm not agreeing with any side here, but I guarantee you if President Putin ever got a chance to get the Jews back, <laughs> well, he was probably pretty calculated about it, <laughs> okay? And he probably did it. But with that being said, for all the left, especially the left-wing media, and, and you know, they're all one unit, for them to be Russia, 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 it's absolute hypocr hypocrisy. What if what if Russia didn't help level the playing field? What if Russia didn't help and Hillary Clinton won and the information came out that y'all were using? <laughs> You'd be buried. Matter of fact, that's probably what was going to happen. That was probably what was supposed to happen. Guess what your saving grace is? The fact that now you <laughs> everybody got busted and not now instead of the right just going after the left is to fuck your worlds up. Now it's it's now you you're all go down if this comes out, right? You see what I'm saying? Everybody falls if this comes out. Oh fucking everything. The, both propaganda machines, the the media, you all go down. You all come tumbling down because it leveled the playing field. If you point out that there was Russian technology helping, they're going to point out that you've been using this other technology for a long time. <clears throat> it's a stalemate. However, the American people deserve to know that their minds are being invaded by foreign technology and a, a home and a technology from our own government to rig elections. It's fucking absolutely evil. It's fucking evil. It's just evil. I was just taking a leak, and usually when I'm doing that, <laughs> a lot of information just hits me out of nowhere. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. And it's kind of funny because I'm taking a leak. You know what I mean? Trust me, I'm connected to this Borg. So <laughs> they just sit there and watch me piss on their heads-up display because they, they don't have any courtesy or anything like that. But anyways, what I was going to point out, now that i thought about it, the ice cream truck, you know, I always say Uncle Nate and Uncle Vlad. You know, I, I think Benjamin Nate, you know, he's probably the best leader on the planet. I, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, I think he's a great leader uh, for his people. Okay, now it, it, had he become an enemy of America, well, yeah, well, I wouldn't like him. But I'm just saying for people in Israel, he's a damn good leader, all right? especially when you consider they're a little country surrounded by chaos all the time. But <laughs> I got to thinking about the ice cream truck, and it said six thirteen on the side of the ice cream truck in Barat. And keep in mind that the surprise, the shock and awe for everybody on this still turned out to be Lockheed Martin. That's what they called the deep state, I'm pretty sure of it. Who's been with me for a long time. So whenever I would go off into a trance and I was kind of talking to Lockheed, basically, getting information and, and all the whole, it'll shut the entire, I know this sounds stupid, <laughs> but when you're connected to this Borg and I'm the root hub, because I have all the technology in me and they're trying to figure out what's going on. Every time I would go in the deep state, you could just hear them in the middle of a sentence, just, uh, <laughs> it just shuts them down. <laughs> Shit sounds so stupid, but I promise you this is true. But what I think would be ironic, <laughs> this would be really fucking hilarious. <laughs> what if uh, President Putin and President Netanyahu actually got together on this thing? <laughs> Because on the side of it, it was 613 on the side of the ice cream truck, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if those two joined together and went after the elite with their technology? Because that's who's got the other technology, okay? Whoever the elite is, the billionaires who's been pushing all of this, uh, you know, rigging elections and all that stuff. Basically, the people who's running the United States government. <laughs> but wouldn't it be something <laughs> if... President Netanyahu and President Putin <laughs> joint forces <laughs> just annihilate this whole freaking game that's been going on for years. 
<laughs> I think that'd be hilarious, actually. Chances, I don't know. I, I'm just throwing that out there. I can't, conf I can't confirm that because I, I don't know for sure. But the only evidence to support that would be, <laughs> and when you're talking in the 21st century evidence, or computers are basically playing games with each other and you got an eye for shit like I do and you notice a 613 on the side of a fucking ice cream truck and you know that that's that would be the the Jewish ball and the uh the uh Russian uh technology the Jewish technology and the Russian technology 613 if you notice shit like that well it just kind of makes you stop and go I wonder if they got together and just pulled off the biggest psyops program ever. Fucking the most elaborate freaking psyops program ever. Just to fucking check America and the people that are actually running America. Just to fucking check them because they knew that if that shit was going to continue, that globalism would probably end up being a thing. And uh, they, <laughs> just saying, I don't, I guarantee you President Netanyahu, I don't see him being for globalism either. I think it's people in his flock that are just really wealthy that want globalism. But, you know, <laughs> like I said, I can't confirm any of this, but uh, that's just a little tidbit of you know, what you're dealing with when you're dealing with psyops and how you got to kind of consider anything could be possible here because everything's done in secret especially with this technology, unless you end up putting your technology inside of me. <laughs> fucks your plans up. Because I had all these technology in me already. Which would, the, the Jew ball that showed up would have been the one that got surprised by, oh my God, <laughs> what's all this technology in this guy? What is this? I've never seen this before. Well, it was probably, I mean, I know for a fact it was Lockheed Martin and the United States military's technology was here because I was the original cyborg in the United States military and I was married to a Russian, which leads to the sexually transmitted, maybe, maybe she brought it over in her suitcase. However, that Russian technology got inside of me, unbeknownst to me, I'm not a traitor. <laughs> I had no fucking idea. Same situation President Trump's in, and he had sex with Russians. There might be something to that. But uh, anyway, there's just another little bit of uh, the translator <laughs> that uh, to maybe tell the story just a little bit more, whether it, you decide. Fuck, I don't know. I can't confirm it. <laughs> to add to that, keep in mind, you know, it probably got confusing whenever I said the Jew ball showed up here. Well, I'm pretty sure the Jew ball's like an, is a... a the six is America, right? But when I say the Jew ball, I'm talking about like uh, maybe the CIA. I don't know. The elite in America had this technology. And there's three colors, okay? There's, there's green, there's red, and there's purple. Of course, I haven't seen the purple in a long time. Sometimes I wonder if the purple is Lockheed Martin. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. But, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so that, that was three nanotechnologies. So, you know, if if Russia did team up with President Netanyahu, you know, you whatever, maybe President Netanyahu had some technology that wasn't the American standard Jew technology, all right? The, the elite Jews that are running the country who had their technology. Maybe he had some other technology. I, Maybe maybe they just talked to each other and used President Vlad's technology. And they were, you know, got together to, uh, as a coalition to go against the uh, elite. You know, because the elite have one thing on, on their mind, and that's Agenda 21. That's what they want to do. And, um, you know, and that's, all of this got foiled, especially when it landed here. Because... <laughs> Basically, it made everybody have to be honest with each other. The problem is, is nobody's being honest with each other in the media, right? Nobody's being honest about it. The, the, the left's still going, Russia, Russia, Russia. And I promise you, left-wing media, if you prove that there's a Russian nanotechnology here, that is going to backfire on you so bad because it's going to turn out that they're going to prove, they're just, they got evidence of this, they're going to unload it on you. And they're going to say, hey, we've been... We know you've been using this technology for years. You're worse than we are. <laughs>